What's going on guys? Subboom Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at an e-liquid line. Now, this e-liquid line was sent to me for the purposes of this review. Old Fashioned Elixir. Yeah, that's right. Old Fashioned Elixir. So, let me tell you guys the story of Old Fashioned Elixir here. They began in 2014. They started out with tobacco flavored e-liquids just to better transition people from smoking to vaping. Which is legit because I started out on tobacco flavored products. That's just me. Um, I started out on a 7-Eleven pen. So I kind of, you know, kind of catered to the tobacco flavors when I was switching. Because I wanted something that was going to make me feel like I was smoking. Taste like I was smoking. But I wasn't smoking. So that is definitely a plus to me. Now they do have four flavors in that tobacco line which is Tobacco Lane here. So, they consist of four flavors, Original Bold, Classic Light, Turkish Blend, and Cool Menthol. Now, I will not be reviewing that line just because I just cannot stand tobacco flavored e-liquid anymore. It's just some, for after over two years of vaping, it's just, I can't go back to tobacco flavor. So, what we will be reviewing is their Main Street line here. Now, four flavors, all of them are awesome. I will get down to that here in a little bit. So, these four flavors consist of apple pie, cup of joe, lemon berry, and peach cobbler. So, mmm. <laughs> Yummy. So, all these flavors are 70 DG, 30 PG. They come in 0, 1.5, 3, 6, 12, and an 18 nick. Now, you can only get them in two sizes, which is a real bummer. It's a 15 mil and a 30 mil bottles. Now, 15 mils are going to run you about $8.99. 30 mils are going to run you $14.99. So, they are cheaper and under budget of the premium juice lines that are about 20 bucks for 30 mil, 22 bucks for 30 mil. Yeah, so it is definitely more affordable. Now, I, to make it even more affordable for you guys, I have in the description. Check them out in SkylineVapors.com. A 25% off coupon code below. So, definitely check that out. Now, first off here, what are we going to be taking a look at? My favorite. Now, guys, this has been my all-day vape. Yes, all-day vape. Cup of Joe, guys. Cup of Joe. So, it kind of upsets me they didn't send me more. So anyways, Cup of Joe is a perfectly roasted, rich coffee served with a hint of luxurious cream and just a touch of sweetness to start your day off right and keep you going all day. Sorry. Phew. So, right now I have the E-Leaf iStick 100 watt with the Lush RDA sitting on top. And let me see, 75 watts at a 0.32 ohm build at 4.90 volts. So... Go ahead and drip a little bit of Cup of Joe on my cotton here. Now, I love coffee. Coffee is like my baby. But it's so hard to find a good coffee vape. Uh, the best coffee vape I've had previous to this one was one of my friend, good friends made a coffee vape. And it just, I, I loved it. So, I've not found a coffee vape that compared to that until now. Now guys, Cup of Joe, man. Woo. Anyways, let me go ahead and give it a toot here. Oh, man. You definitely get that cream. It's kind of like a creamer. Almost like a creamer. You do get some sweetness. It is a little bit sweet. Just a little bit sweet. But I like my coffee sweet. I like it, man. I really like it. So, as I hit it, you get that creamer, sugary taste. And then on the, well, you get the coffee all the way in on the inhale and the exhale. And it's just a nice little nutty kind of flavor. Oh, it's just so good. It is just, oh, man. Tastes so good. Make your tongue smack your forehead. Woo! Now. It's definitely my favorite juice. It's just perfectly balanced. I mean, it tastes identical to a cup of coffee, guys. I mean, I've never had a cup of coffee vape that tastes this good. Oh. 
low battery. So anyways, now I did tell my friend at work the other day, I was like, man, I found a coffee flavor that just, that beat you out, man. He was like, no, you didn't, man. I was like, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. It, it is it is really good. And he's like, did you bring it? And I was like, no. They only gave me a 15 mil. I need to save it for review purposes. Don't be trying to dive into my juice consumptions. So, anyways. Got into that. So, the rest of that is going to work to prove to him that it is the bomb. Yeah. So, anyways, guys. That is my favorite from this line. Cup of Joe is just, oh, so good. Mmm. Man. Okay, my next flavor that I am going to be trying is Lemon Berry here. Now, I have it on the Flawless 26650 with the Petri Dot Mine version 2. 75 watts, 4.29 volts at a 0.24 ohms. Now... Lemon berry is described as a refreshing tart lemon mingled with a sweet medley of berries for a refreshing, refreshing all day treat like a cool glass of berry lemonade on a summer's day. So, let me go ahead and make sure I'm juiced up here because I've been vaping on this stuff a lot here. So, now keep in mind, I do have fresh builds in all of these. I've only been vaping this juice, so I'm not getting no strange. It is just so good. Oh. Now, it is like a tart. It's like a tart, sweet, lemon berry mesh of orgasm on my mouth, man. But anyways, it is like a lemon. You get the lemon on the inhale. on the, uh, At the end of the inhale and on the exhale, you just get this burst of berries. You know, pomegranate, blueberries. You get all of these all meshed into one. And it is just, oh. Yeah, I mean, I definitely... Their descriptions that fit these vape, these flavors are just on point. I would love to be chilling, vaping on the beach with this flavor right here. Berry lemonade. Oh, it is just spot on. The lemon is not too tart. It is a little bit of a sweet lemon that must be the berries peeking in a little bit. So it does kind of give you that sweet lemon berry taste. It's just, it definitely tastes like a berry lemonade. So they definitely, definitely have my vote on that one. That one is a very good flavor. Mm. Now, I cannot tell you guys all the berry flavors that are in it. It's just. I mean, it's definitely a berry medley. It's just so many berries mixed in. It's just so good. Sorry if I'm slurring a little bit. It seems like I got a little bit of dry mouth or something. Ugh. Now, the next flavor we are going to take a look at is apple pie. Now, apple pie is going to be vaped on a Rulu DNA 200 with the Petri 1.5. So, 70 watts, 0.26 ohms, 4.25 four volts so go ahead and get some apple pie on my cotton and get some apple pie on my cotton now apple pie is freshly picked apples blended with sweet cinnamon savory spices and a touch of buttery crust to deliver a classic american apple pie like grandma used to make now my grandma never made no apple pie guys no i'm just playing i'm just playing but anyways Go ahead and give it a toot. This one is like Granny Smith apples on the inhale. It is kind of like a tart Granny Smith apple. It is just, I mean, it's a crisp. It tastes like a refreshing apple, but it is kind of a, it's kind of like a candy apple. If that makes any sense, it kind of tastes like a candy apple flavored. I do get the cinnamon, a little bit of spices, um, buttery on the exhale. The buttery is on the exhale. As soon as I exhale, I taste that buttery 
kind of sweet flavored taste, whatever, coming on the exhale. So this one's good, but it kind of tastes, it has a little bit too much apple pie or apple for me, if that makes any sense. I know it's apple pie, but you know, it's kind of got that green apple taste to it. So it's kind of a little bit tart, but not really tart. I don't know how to describe that one. That one's a really hard one for me to describe. You get that crisp apple on the exhale along with the cinnamon, the buttery taste. It's just, that is definitely, I could I could see it as an all day vape. It, it's easy going. It's not too harsh on the throat. You don't get a bad throat hit on any of these e-liquids. Now it is just a little Granny Smith apple-ish to me. I wish it would have tasted a little bit more like, the Granny Smith is the green apple, right? Right? I really, really wish it was more like the yellow apple. Yeah, the yellow apple is a little sweeter. So, other than that, it's still really good. It's really, really good still. So, I have no complaints really about that one. It just tastes just a little bit green apple-ish to me. Mm, but it's definitely good. Definitely good. Last but certainly not least is the Peach Cobbler. Now, I have it sitting on the E-Fusion, regular size, DNA 200, 70 watts, 0.29 ohm build, 4.55 volts, I believe, is what I'm getting when I fire it. I have the Phenotype L sitting on top with the top airflow cap. Now, this one is described as decadent cobbler with creamy vanilla and cinnamon on the inhale combined with juicy peach on the exhale to deliver this southern classic. Now, I'm a big country guy. Don't you disappoint me now. So, go ahead and drip some of this peach cobbler. You definitely get that sweetness of the creamy vanilla. You get this little bit of cinnamon, just a little smidget, just a sprinkle of cinnamon on there. I get the peach all the way through. It's a little bit lighter on the inhale, the peach flavor, but on the exhale is when the peach really starts to come out. It really starts to pop. It's just really, really, man, wow, it's good. So, it's definitely, Probably one of the best peach flavors I've had. I mean, I haven't had all that many peach flavors. This one's definitely, definitely, I wouldn't say it's peach cobbler flavored, but it is, it does have that vanilla cinnamon flavor to it, and it does have the peach on it. I just don't have that crusty taste. That makes sense. I don't know if you can have a crusty taste. But anyways, it is really, really good. You get that smooth, creamy vanilla on the inhale. The peach overwhelms the vanilla and everything on the exhale, but it's still there, and it's still just so good. Oh, man. This whole juice line, I highly recommend. They're, all four of these flavors are just top-notch. And at $14.99 for a 30 mil and $8.99 for a 15 mil, these guys are definitely going to be my ordered guys here. I love their Cup of Joe. The Cup of Joe is definitely... By far, my favorite one that I've had from their line. If I was to categorize it in the top four, it'd be Cup of Joe, Peach Cobbler, Lemon Berry, then Apple Pie. So keep that in mind. Cup of Joe, Peach Cobbler, Lemon Berry, then Apple Pie. So Cup of Joe and Peach Cobbler, I highly recommend you guys get on ahead picking out. If you were just going to go spend 16 bucks or 17 bucks or 18 bucks on juice, Get Cup of Joe and Peach Cobbler. Now, Lemon Berry is really good. It's definitely going to be one of my vapes that I'm definitely going to be vaping on, especially on these hot summer days like they say in the description because that sounds freaking amazing with a freaking berry lemonade vape. So it tastes really good. I have no complaints on their e-liquid. The only thing I didn't like was the green apple kind of taste on the apple pie. But other than that, I mean, they're all flavors are just so good. I mean, it just tastes like... 
It just tastes like one of them flavors, juice lines that you would spend 20 to $24 or $25 on a 30 mil. It's just that good. The flavor is not muted. You don't get a harsh throat hit. 70 VG, it's 30 PG. You get all those Nick levels. The only con I have for these guys, and I hope you guys are watching, didn't have a bigger bottle. I'm a little disappointed, man. I really love Cup of Joe, and I didn't get a bigger bot. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this one on a Cup of Joe, because that one is my favorite all-time vape. So, it's definitely, definitely going to be in a lot of my pictures, because I might just order a little bit more. Because I love all, I love Cup of Joe. I love coffee. Oh. Anyways, guys, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Below is a link to where you can get this juice and a 25% off discount code. Guys, go check it out. I'm telling you, check it out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the Nitty and the Gritty.